I'm here at the South Park Apartments. We're south of downtown Plattsmouth, and that person that was injured, a lieutenant from the Plattsmouth Fire Department, just confirmed it was due to smoke inhalation. So one person taken in critical condition. It's unclear if there were any other injuries reported, but that's what we know so far. Take a look at the scene. It's still very active. You're seeing multiple fire engines here. Lots of these residents kind of just waiting here on the lawn. Lots of firefighters milling about, kind of making sure everybody is staying warm. So we're told about 30 people live in this senior living complex. And when firefighters arrived here, it was quick to knock the fire down. The lieutenant said they found it inside an apartment. No big issues getting the fire out, but it was evacuating all these people. That was the challenge. Some of them are disabled. We've seen some folks in wheelchairs. So that's why so many different agencies were called here to the scene. Um, if we show you here, there's several school buses parked here across the street. The lieutenant confirmed that they will be evacuating these residents to Plattsmith High School because part of this complex was damaged in that fire, so they won't be able to return home. So they will be staying there at Plattsmith High School until they can arrange for family or friends to come pick them up. So again, one person confirmed taken to the hospital in critical condition from this scene. Um, but we're not sure of any other injuries at this time. Again, multiple agencies. The lieutenant also confirmed that LifeNet at one point was called, but they then canceled that. So um, we're hoping that that injury is the only one from here tonight, but kind of a chaotic scene as they get organized here and get those uh, residents here to safety. So um, for now, reporting live here in Plattsmouth, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.